Hey guys, Seethercourt here. Welcome to my newest video for today. For today's video, we're going to have a nice little story time kind of video. The reason that I say this is because we'll mostly be focusing on myself explaining the story as to how I came to join the furry fandom. I'll pretty much start off with a little bit of backstory prior to my interaction explaining my years involved with the internet, then I'll dive into my first two years delving primarily into interacting more with fellow furries as well as purchasing my own fursuit, and then I'll end it off with talking about doing YouTube videos for the fandom and what I've been mostly doing with that. So with that all explained and out of the way, Let's now begin story time with Seether. I've been using the internet ever since the year 2007 or 2008, I believe. I mostly just use the internet to watch YouTube videos or to play games on Nick.com, Cartoon Network.com, or DisneyChannel.com. And that pretty much was what I would always do online for around five or so years. Then around 2013, I made my first ever YouTube channel and when I started producing content for YouTube, that's when I started to interact with other people online and started to make new friends. Not a single one of the tons of people that I met throughout those two to three years were a furry. This mostly being because being a furry back then was way more of an underground thing. To where our community still existed, but it was kind of harder back then to find any real information about it. Another reason for my friends not being furries at all was because I made my YouTube channel back then center around Let's Plays in the Let's Play community, where people would commentate over video games and such. And really, there is only around four people from that community that I still talk to to this very day, and that's because we're all very close. Hell, I roomed with two of them at the last convention that I went to back in January. Anyways, fast forward to around 2015 or so. This was when I started to finally get exposed to and learn more information about furries. I began to start seeing more furry-related content being posted onto YouTube from non-furry YouTubers making videos about furries, to furries themselves starting to make their own videos as well. So around this time, I really wanted to get more involved with the furry community. I remember making a Google search on New Year's Eve about furry Skype groups, to where I found this one guy posting about it somewhere on Reddit. He then left his Skype username in the Reddit post and then I messaged him on that other platform. In the message, I asked him to add me and he then added me to this Skype group entitled Skype Furries. To go a little bit more into detail about Skype Furries, this was at its time the biggest as well as most stable furry-related Skype group that there was. There was around at least 200 active users every day and there was about four or five very active and responsive moderators. I started to mix and mingle with tons of different furries within this group. I talked to a lot of furries from many different parts of the world, furries of different ages, of different sexualities, heck, some furries that were even openly transgender. And it was really diverse and I really liked that about the fandom. The only downside to this group was that there was a lot of drama and I was able to avoid the drama most of the time. But still, it would bring down my mood in the group for sure when it happened. Throughout my first year of getting myself accustomed to the fandom, I felt very inclined to get myself a fursuit. I thought that these were so cool and I felt that I really needed one in order to really feel like I could accomplish at least most of the stuff that I could do within this fandom. So I got myself a part-time job, saved up enough money, waited a couple of months, and boom, I got my fursuit. Words could not describe how happy I was when I got it. I used it so much within the first couple of months and have moderately used it at conventions later on throughout the years. After I felt as if I couldn't really do anything else really new within the fandom, I decided to get back into attempting to make YouTube videos, and this time instead of making it gaming related, I instead decided to make it about furries. And this is where I started to implement more complex video editing styles that I had never done before, and moving on to video editing programs such as Camtasia. I also started writing scripts for my videos and thinking up ideas for topics of what I could talk about within the fandom. And eventually my channel blew up and for the first time ever I was actually developing a following on YouTube. It took me around 5 years to reach 100 subscribers finally, and now I'm at 7,000 and I'm so grateful for it, it's so awesome. Anyways. I'm still having a great time being involved with the fandom through YouTube. Most of my interaction with other furries is through this YouTube channel and producing content for you guys and I honestly wouldn't want it any other way. Thank you all so much. Anyways, that pretty much wraps up my story of how I got into the furry fandom and this video overall for today. How do you guys feel about my story of how I got into the fandom? What was your guys' experience of getting into the fandom? Was it similar to mine? Was it completely different? Let me know down in the comment section down below. If you enjoy my content and want to further help out my channel, please consider donating to me on Patreon as well as my coffee. Also, please consider hitting that like button, turning on the notification bell, and subscribing altogether. I have been Seether Cord and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone. We didn't even get the shoes right. It's okay. 
I am Windows. I am Windows 2000. <laughs> <laughs>